It seems like a nice and simple thing, and it is in a lot of ways. It's, it's a bigger, more complicated issue. I'm Tim. And I'm Tom, and we're going to talk to you about why fish need water. Here in the Cowichan and the Coxsila, different species of salmon and trout need different amounts of water at different times of year, in different places, at different times during their life history. The runs are, are so precarious. We've got climate change. We've got all these other issues. Um, we want to make sure that fish have water at the right time when they need it. So stick with us because over the next couple of minutes, Tim and I are going to talk to you about why fish need water in the Cowichan and Coke Island watersheds. Why do you release so much water in the spring months and not hold it back for the summer months? That's a great question. And I often get people asking me, why are you letting all that water out of the weir in the springtime? We should be saving it for the summer. There's a lot of reasons, but I can tell you three really quickly. Steelhead lay their eggs in the gravel in the late winter, early spring. If we reduce the flows in the spring where the steelhead lay their eggs will look like this. They'll be dry, all the eggs will die. Secondly, Chinook salmon babies, the fry, come up out of the gravel early March. They're very small and they have to stay in the river and feed for 90 days. Where they like to go is right up against the edge of the river and the vegetation. And if the river isn't full to brim, they have nowhere to go and they get washed out into the ocean. Thirdly, the coho smolts, who have been living in the river for a whole year, these little babies are getting ready to go out to the ocean, but they don't live in the middle of the river. They live off in the side, in side channels and pools. And if the river drops too soon, they can't get out and they're stuck there. So there's a very good reason that we like to see good flows in April, May and June. So we're not wasting the water, we're releasing it so that salmon can thrive and survive. Okay, so the water is really low right now because it's basically summertime. But I don't think that it really matters that the water's low because there's no fish in the water, right? That's actually a great question. Um, in the summer, there are salmon species that, that move out quite early, but coho in particular, uh, resident trout, and uh, in both the Cowichan and the Coxsila, early run Chinook, all have really important flow values that have to be protected. So for coho, because they live uh, in stream, so what, after they hatch, they live in stream for basically an entire year. You need enough pool habitat for uh, smaller fry and fish to hide away from predators. They need to be able to access vegetation to get food and to hide. But they also, it's also important to have strong riffles between each of those pools um, for fish to be able to access, for trout and other species that really more heavily use that riffle habitat, that faster moving water between the pools, it's just as important for them to have that kind of habitat as it is for cohos to have back eddies and for all of those fish to be able to go from habitat to habitat wherever they need to go to find food. Why can't the salmon just wait in the estuary until the big rains come? Salmon swim up the river in the fall, so, so they come in in the bay and they swim up the river to lay their eggs. That's happened for thousands of years. With climate change, the river is lower later in the summer and the fall, so when the salmon arrive, there's not enough water for them to swim up. This causes problems for a few reasons. One, as salmon get ready to spawn, they start to deteriorate because they spawn and die. And if they can't spawn on time, water seeps into the body cavity, hardens the eggs, and the eggs aren't any good. Secondly, if the salmon show up and they're waiting to go up the river, there are other things in the bay as well, things like seals and sea lions, which love to eat salmon. Normally that's fine because they just get a quick crack at them as they swim up the river. But if they're stuck in the lower end of the river because they can't get up, many of them get, uh, get killed. Some years the water is so low in the fall that the Cowichan tribes and partners have to catch the salmon in the estuary, stick them in trucks and drive them up the river. So that's a situation we do not want to see happening. We have a term in Cowichan, it's 
It's muk stem ups li And quite literally translated, it means that everything is interconnected. Uh, for us, salmon, healthy salmon in the system mean a healthy community. For, for us, being able to make sure that there's salmon for future generations, that people will be able to continue to fish and sustain themselves, mean that, that community and, and, and culture will be supported as well. And, and it's about all of our survival.